Okay, in this video I want to show you um, how to repair or fix a, uh, a swollen MacBook. Um, this particular model is a, is, a, is a 2008 MacBook Air and um, I got it and, and I noticed that it was like literally swollen like two or three inches. Um, I'm surprised it didn't damage the logic board or the keyboard, it was so bad. Um, and then on the back of it it was swollen. Um, if you don't know, that's because of the battery. Uh, the battery's gone bad. Even though the battery still may be charging, um, it's bad. So what you have to do is replace the battery, which is very easy to do, and I'll, sh I'll show you how to go about doing it. Um, you can get a battery anywhere on, for MacBook Airs, anywhere from 20 bucks used to you know, 50, 60 bucks. On average, they're about 30 bucks, but it's well worth it. Um, and if your laptop's swollen like that, you don't want to continue using it like that. Um, for multiple reasons. One thing, what, first thing you have to do is basically get all the screws on the on the very bottom. You'll get one of the very the very small screwdrivers. You can get one at Ace Hardware or Lowe's. You can get a set for five bucks. Okay, and um, you want to take out all the screws. This particular one I think has got ten screws. This is a 2008 model. And this video pertains to any MacBook Air, um, even MacBook Pros or even the old white MacBooks. Uh, have issues with um, have issues with swelling of the battery. So, what you want to do is take all the screws out. Now, here's the tricky part: if the battery's swollen, it actually might be extremely difficult to get it out with a regular screwdriver. Um, and also, to this particular MacBook is an older version so it takes the you know the regular Phillips head screwdrivers the newer ones um, is more of like a hex screwdriver and you can get a hex screwdriver on eBay just type in hex screwdriver MacBook screwdriver and you can get you can pick one up for as low as two or three bucks I'd recommend making sure you get it from the United States just because you'll get it within a week if you get it from China it'll take a month so make sure you're you're getting it from the United States if you order one the problem with this particular MacBook is, is it was so swollen I couldn't get it out with a regular standard Phillips screwdriver. So it does take persistence. What I did was is I purchased um, I got this one at Radio Shack, but you don't have to you don't have to get it at Radio Shack. You can uh, you want to get a precision screwdriver. And what that does is it puts a little bit more torque and um, and leverage into us uh, to into uh, unscrewing. So, as you can see here, there's different endings, and of course, you want you want one of the more of the the fine, uh, precise uh, uh, ending for the Phillips. And what happens is, it's just it, it actually has more torque with it, and so you might have to work with it a little bit um, to, in order to take the lid off of the um, off the MacBook. So it's just step by step. Okay, now once you get the lid off, and I wish I had to kept the old battery on this one because I mean here's the replacement battery I purchased I got this on eBay I believe for like 28 bucks uh, but this I mean the, the the one that was swollen I mean it literally was swollen like an inch inch and a half I mean it was ridiculous um, how swollen it was but um, so for this 2008 want to install it it's pretty simple to do as you can see here on your old one you're going to want to unscrew it and you might actually have to use the same technique on the battery to get it out as you did with the lid if it's swollen because it, like I said it's it's in there extremely tight um, crazy tight this one as you can see here what you want to do with the old battery you're going to unscrew these two ends two ends here and then you usually got and then you got a couple here and you got three here and there's one in the middle there shouldn't be any resistance once you get all the screws out and then it only fastens just by this little cable here and that of course uh, fastens into the motherboard um, this actually goes goes right in here it just pulls out so this particular what you can do it makes sure you know it doesn't matter if you have a 2011 2012 uh, uh, Mac Air uh, or even just a regular MacBook Pro or a MacBook you want to find the, the model number. You can get it on the back of your lid 
this particular one is a 2008 but I'd highly recommend you you look on the back of the lid and it's going to say in very uh, fine print um, in this particular one it usually starts with an A followed by four numbers and sure enough this is a, a MacBook um, well, I had it here a second ago I think this one's an I think this is A2142 no it's an A1237 in very very fine print so A1237 is the model number so the best eBay is one of the best places I've found to purchase used MacBook parts um, so what you want to do is you want to type in A1237 or whatever your model number is for your computer so A1237 and then you're going to follow that up with battery and make it as simple as possible alright and then from there it's best not to do auction I'd rather do buy it now and then you're going to go lowest first and then you're going to start and you want to make sure you get make sure you don't get them that's parts and repair um, this is a replacement battery for MacBook Air A1237 and this is a brand new one for nineteen dollars and fifty cents so that's pretty good um, and then of course you got the ones that fall on again I'd recommend you get in from the United from the United States this one is from California so that's good so that way you get, would get it within a week now if for whatever reason you can't find the model number on the back because you know MacBooks tend to get fading with the lettering on the back um, you could just get it from directly from your from your broken battery it should say on the very back uh, this one says A1245 that's the model number of the battery um, and so you can do the exact same thing plug that into eBay and go ahead and buy it you know if it's older if it's older MacBook I'd recommend just getting one of these I, you know it's it's not a genuine Mac battery um, and normally I wouldn't recommend uh, generic parts especially when it comes to chargers but you know if you got a, an older computer you know 2008 2009 um, you know I'd rather spend twenty dollars than a hundred bucks uh, on a an, on an old laptop and uh, I don't see any danger in it so that's my advice with that so if you have any questions just comment below